Elon Musk got interviewed by uh, Tucker Carlson. And to me, I think there, there was a, he said a lot of stuff, but to me, this is the big one, Kurt. Here it is. The degree to which uh, various government agencies had effectively had full access to everything that was going on on Twitter uh, blew my mind. Um, I was not aware of that. Would that include people's DMs? Uh, yes. <laughs> so did you hear what he just said? That the government was spying on you through your DMs. <laughs> and that's why China needs to be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> they might get your information. <laughs> the government slides into our DMs. Is it trying to fuck us? <laughs> Does the government want to see my tits? They they can if they want. It won't be pretty. So let's hear that again. The degree to which uh, various government agencies had effectively had full access to everything that was going on on Twitter uh, blew my mind. Um, I was not aware of that. Would that include people's DMs? Uh, yes. Whoa. Tucker, yeah. I, I don't want you to give it away because uh, we'll all be watching at 8 o'clock tonight. But what was your biggest jaw-dropper moment of this interview? Well, Twitter is the smallest of the social media apps, but it's the one that's used by the people with power. I mean, it's everyone sitting on the set right now. It's every government official. It's, you know, it's every head of state. And all of their private messages were being read, not just by the U.S. intel agencies, but by a bunch of different governments. I mean, that's that's like an unbelievable this fact. Is the whole thing was a honey trap um, in order to surveil people and then to propagate propaganda. Like that's that's insane. Mm. I, I didn't really understand that. So when he means when he says a honey trap, what he means is that. It, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this what he means? That like so they use they set up Twitter, this social media thing. It's this great. It's really uh, handy. It's really fun. You get your media, you get your ideas out, and so you like this thing. So you're attracted to this Twitter thing. But the real purpose was it was surveillance. So there they are surveillance. Does that he mean that's the honey trap part of it? Well, so that's what uh the, you, like you the think dark the web is that now. It's all honey. It's all a thing to like pull people in. You know, remember they caught all those criminals internationally with the cell phones and it was marketed right to criminals. Oh, really? That's a honey trap. Okay. You know? So this is like trying to get you to sign up for Twitter so we can spy on you. I feel like an OnlyFans. <laughs> Man, this you is. You want to go in my private DMs? That'll cost you. <laughs> I mean, this is. And and again, they've got, they've convinced, they've got half the country hypnotized into this is nothing. Yeah. Half the country thinks this is nothing. Mehdi Hassan did that thing and now they that's look, Matt Taibbi, he's the scammer. Huh. He's yeah. the scammer. <laughs> Not MSNBC. Not Microsoft NBC. <laughs> so anyway, uh again, Tucker Carlson, uh doing much better journalism than anybody at CNN, MSNBC, or anybody else at Fox, that's for sure. And um we disagree on a lot of things politically, but since they took away his advertisers, Tucker Carlson's been able to tell you the truth about censorship. He's been able to tell you the truth about foreign policy, Syria, Libya, um, and now Ukraine. Uh, plus, he's against a hot war with China, although he's, I think he's for an economic one, but he's against uh, actual shooting war. Uh, so there you go. And he, Tucker, he wants flag football instead of full content. That's it. <laughs> anyway, that was I. That to me, that's it's all over. It's all over, you guys. It's all over. What makes it all over is that there's no outrage over this. That's what makes it all over. What makes it all over is that they're going to just keep doing this because half the country has been hypnotized and brainwashed into thinking it's a good thing. That that's what that's how you protect people. It turns out that most of the people in this country never gave a shit about the things that they said they cared about in this country. They don't care about liberty, freedom, privacy. They don't. They have no trouble with authoritarianism and tyranny. Well, they do, but you have to you have to mess with their specific stuff. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it could be somebody else's stuff. I don't care about Russia. Right? right. They they don't like we said before. QAnon's yeah. bad, but RussiaGate's good. That's their yeah, conspiracy. Right. You gotta yeah. be in your little group, you know. Everybody yeah. stay in their group. Stay in your lane. All right. Well, that's I don't. There's. It doesn't get more stunning than that for me, anyway.
We're telling jokes in Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Chicago, Rosemont, San Diego, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see get a link for all those tickets. Plus, you can watch my new special. COVID lies are funny. <laughs> <laughs> 